Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank and today I'm going to play a little bit more inscription Casey's mod. We're uh, trying to rack up some challenge points, so we're going to do boss totems for this run. And we'll give it a go. This Casey's mod is very difficult, so I'm not sure how much longer I'll be playing it. It's been fun, but a little bit punishingly difficult. Okay, we're starting out with Stoat, Bullfrog, Wolf, and some Pelts. Let's just see where we go. I think I want to watch out for one of the Child 13s just in case um, I can get something going with it because uh, that's one thing I haven't quite got yet. Oh, that sounds like a decent ability. Um, getting something that can take bone would be good, but Cody is kind of weak. So maybe I'll, I'll try it and we'll do the Warren too just in case we can get it upgraded. Having something can generate stuff is a good idea. Um, I don't have anything to uh, take out the fireplace yet. I could go for wood carvers, but um, I could get two upgrades though. It's pretty tempting. Having a warren that can fight might be interesting, but getting a wood carver early is kind of a big deal too. It stinks because there's an item pick up here at the end of this line. Um, and let's see, a trapper, which I wouldn't have much to take, but I guess we'll go wood carver. And I'm not sure that that's going to pay off too much, but we do have canine head, so we'll get that since we already have two of those cards. Okay, time for a fight. A frozen possum. So let's see, maybe we can get rid of the wild bull. Rampager, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing a sigil will move in the direction described in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be thrown back behind it. Alright, um, well we could just put down something to block that energy that's going to come out. Mm. Feeling maybe just sacrificing the bullfrog, but maybe it'd be best to just take the hit. So let's just do it. Okay. We can have a wolf uh, lying in wait instead. There we go. That'll even things out. And the wolf will take out the bull. There we go. Alright. GG. Thanks, Leshy. Okay, what do we get? Ah, Alpha. Maybe we should pick it up since we have power up on canines coming our way soon. And looks like we're going to get us a peck rat. Thank you, little rat. Alright, what do we have coming our way? Raven egg. Sounds like a job for the bullfrog. Wolf pup coming. Alright, soap should be able to take it out. Almost got enough to play our coyote too. Alright, that's unfortunate. Gets us just one bone away though from being able to play it. Okay. Guess we'll just have to stick with what we have here. Sacrifice for the Warren. Um, that'll give us another playable card and enough that we can get our Coyote on the board too. That'll take out the Raven. Okay. Fortunately, we have a new Raven that came in. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, we could sacrifice for the pack rat and use something to get us even here. I think we're going to have to, or else we're going to be in trouble. So we'll do this and do that number. And we got a boulder back, so that's not bad. Okay, now I think it's just a matter of time. Here we go. One more turn. We can even put a wolf down just for extra fun. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get us a good sigil from the woodcarver. Sparrow. Hmm. We already have three one bloods. Turkey vulture is so expensive, but maybe if you could have, if I could get it buffed up somehow, especially with the duplicator, that might be nice. All right, stinky dogs. That's what we're doing today. All right, stinky dog time. Moles and an elk fawn. I need to send something out after that elk fawn immediately, so I think it will do the bullfrog. And we'll be saving up for our turkey vulture along the way. Okay. Guess we need to put something in front. All right. We'll put the wolf down so that we can take out that elk fawn. Don't want it wreaking havoc. Here we go. All right. And I guess that'll be that. Ah oh, man. So close to having a really good round of excess damage thanks to the alpha. Should have held back, probably. Alright, Cuckoo is pretty nice troll, so I think that I may take it. Okay, power up or switch sigils out. Hmm. Don't see a good reason to switch powers out, so I guess we'll do power up. All right, power up on attack. Give the Warren some bite so that it'll at least have a little bit of offense it can contribute. There we go. It was worth the risk, I think. And we should get another pack rat, so maybe that could be a duplicate. Here comes our first fight, a trapper. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, what do these strange frogs have on? Oh, uh, they're gonna move. Well, that'll be interesting because this will block the bullfrog for that first attack at least. So maybe I should have it stay there so that I can uh, trap it with something kind of weak anyways. Hmm. Kind of looks like a stoat might be the candidate for that. Okay. Oh, I didn't think the bullfrog would advance first. Darn it. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, I could put the alpha down. I think that I probably will need to. That'll at least give the stoat enough power to take out the bullfrog in a swing. And uh, it'll survive to take on the rabbit. 
Okay, and let's get, I guess, another squirrel out. I'm a little bit concerned about this fight because um, it's looking rough. We're gonna have to lose our wolf if we play it. It just doesn't feel like a good idea. So maybe we will ring the bell. Okay, now the stoat's going to turn that into a trap, and I might sacrifice the both of them so that traps are um, holding up the uh, line, perhaps. We'll just leave it like this. There we go. And we knew we were going to lose alpha. That's okay. Okay. So now we just need to get some damage on the board. And, um, might as well be the pack rat, really. But we can also play the warren now, too. So maybe we'll just leave it like that for now. Looks like we're going to force our hand into playing something else, so... We'll wait about playing the wolf. Well, actually, the wolf probably won't be able to attack it, so we'll go ahead and play it. Okay. So whatever comes up in that lane comes up, I suppose. Alright. is going to take out that lane, and the Warren should be able to take out most of that lane. So I'm thinking this lane might be the good one to pull from. Um, the Skunk is going to be purely for defense, so I'm not too worried about that. Perhaps a River Otter um, and Kingfisher Column would be a good idea just to clear out that entire area. Or I could get one of each. Um, maybe we'll just do this. And go ahead and clear that out, and that'll be enough. And we will actually start using this against them. So, kind of hate to use a pack rat without having used one of my items, um, but that's okay. Here we go. All right, sticky skunk. It's getting in our way. I don't think it's going to be worth sacrificing any of this stuff, though. So we'll just keep it going. All right, Coyote, we could set it down. It'll die on the porcupine, but it's okay. Oh, it could skeet tell that it was on it. <laughs> Got used, that's pretty funny. Okay, this should be last turn. Nice. Good, good. It's going by pretty quickly. I'm hoping I'm making some good choices. We're gonna do Child 13 now, because now that I know that it can be sacrificed thanks to, uh, I think Wizard Max pointing out its ability. That'll be good to try. Okay, a cave event and a um, duplication, so we'll go that route for sure. Two McCann, six health, 
and three sigils. I think we have a pretty good shot at three sigils, especially since we have a couple of doubles. Um, two of the same kin. We have three there. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I see the symbols now. I can't tell what the stoat is. It's interesting. So bird, bird, pronghorn, Cody. I wonder why the stoats doesn't more clearly show it. Same thing with the warren. Weird. Um, well, sigil and heart. So heart, I think, might be a little bit harder to get. So I think we're going to go sigil. Ah, oh, man, that was so close. Oh well. All right, who are we gonna duplicate? I feel like a cuckoo feels like an obvious choice since they're so good for trolling. Double checking though. Yeah, I think that I'll do the cuckoo. There we go. Let's see how it turned out. Two and one, so it had an improvement. Okay. Many lives, card bring a sigil to sacrifice that does not perish. All right, sparrow and a wolf cub. Yeah, these are both not good situations to have. Um, I'm gonna have to just let the first turn go, I think. And we will play a pack rat um, after pulling a tooth. Okay, we will put down um, child 13. We'll sacrifice it as well, so we can play a pack rat. Um, now it's awakened. Oh, that's cool. And it gets to stay on the board. Interesting. All right, and we got one of the airborne things. Oh, that's nice. So I wonder if we can sacrifice it again, if it'll be more powerful. Um, I may try that. Okay, um, so take one of these numbers and keep going. All right, thinking it's time for another pack rat. Um, I should be able to take out this wolf cub. It's going to be more powerful though. That's the problem, so I guess we need to have it attack the alpha, actually. Okay. All right, cuckoo. Hmm. We'll try sacrificing child 13. Ah. Oh. It went asleep. Interesting. So it alternates between the two. It's nice that you can just keep sacrificing it over and over. I can keep it in that enraged state. That looks like that would be ideal. All right. Um, thinking wolf will be a nice way. So we'll have another duplicate and maybe be able to pass the cave test more easily too. Let's do it. Be crazy to get two turkey vultures combined and have 16 damage total. Alright, who do we want to put on it? This is attack power, so what would make sense? Maybe child 13. Okay, we're gonna pull away from that. 
That way it at least has a little bit of fangs even when it's asleep. Okay, a sparrow and a raven. Maybe we could play a cuckoo to get the party started. Block off that uh, raven. We'll come after the sparrow next. Okay. There we go. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right, two of the same kin, five bones, or four attack power. Well, there are several ways I could get four attack power that I see. I mean, two pack rats alone would do it. That may be our best bet. Two of the kin. So I do have um, two birds. This one belongs to the pronghorn, interestingly enough. And we have a bunch of doggies, and I guess this is amphibians, and then we have another bird, so three birds. Seems like I can't go wrong with either of these two, so I'm gonna go with this one. Feels like there's better chances. Alright, good. I don't know, darn it, I misread it. I don't know why, but I thought the alpha and the bullfrog were in the same. Looks like we're going to have another pack rat. Maybe we're just going to rush this guy with a bunch of uh, items this time. <laughs> Wolf cub and mole. Could put it down and sacrifice so I can have a bullfrog. There we go. All right. Well, this is going to be too much damage at once. Um, I need to probably take out my. Um, well, I could get a pack rat, that'll help. So. We put down a boulder card in front of the wolf, and I think that I need to play Peck Rat in front of the Alpha. And let's see what kind of item we get. Tooth pull. Okay, and now I can play the Alpha here and that may be enough to be okay. Okay. So we need to draw from here a cuckoo. All right, so we're gonna get two damage and um, Pack Rat's gonna take out both and only one damage. So we should be okay. All right. Now, let's see, I need to figure out something to do here. Um, I think I'm gonna need to just use another card, because otherwise we're gonna get hit with an equal amount of force. Huh. Cuckoo only has one and one, unfortunately. That's not enough to take out the porcupine. So that's really unfortunate, and it, it does air damage anyways, but we could block the wolf for a turn. Maybe that'll be enough to uh, get something up our sleeve. Okay. We'll go ahead and pull another tooth too. There we go. That made the difference. Alright, sacrificing a card. And we have a duplicate possibility too. Um, I think that maybe combining a pack rat would be a good idea. So let's go this way. Okay. Um, 
We'll get another wolf. Coyote. Alright, who should be the one? Feeling like turkey vulture might be the one. We do have two coyotes, so we'll do turkey vulture. Okay. Let's see, who do we have as our possibilities? Coyote, cuckoo, pack rat, and wolf. Um, I'm thinking Cody may be the best since it's a bone cost and might take a while to save up. Wolves are pretty good. Maybe we'll do combining wolves earlier or later. So let's do this. If it gets four and two, that's pretty amicable. Yeah. That's more powerful than a single wolf now. Alright, time for another boss. Boss factor is usually not too hard, so hopefully that trend remains. Well, we really don't want to use those powerful ones right off the bat, so maybe we can block off this um, coyote from the attack. There we go. And we can punish the uh, Pack mule is something weak, hopefully. And of course, there's an adder incoming on away. Okay, time to take out our uh, pack mule. could beat the wolf. We both have Stinky too, so unfortunately they take me down to zero though. I um, guess we'll put the smoke down we'll collect our bones for the next round. Okay. We'll just keep going. Um, here we go. All right, now to figure out how to get rid of these wolves. Oh, we do have a bat now. That's an interesting draw. And the warren can do some damage. So that would give us some power if we can do this. And that'll take out the adder. That'll be plus two. And the wolf will just kill the alpha after a turn, unfortunately. Um, and we can also play this bat just to get some more heat started. Okay, we need to uh, up the game against them. Let's see what we have. Ringworm, we could use something against the fire dudes, that would be fun. And Pronghorn is multi-directional attack. So, I'm trying to think of if we put it here, that would get, he's just gonna use the gold on me, so that's gonna be a problem. All right, um, those wolves are hard to get rid of though. That's gonna be my main problem with all of this. I guess playing that warren may be our only chance here. Hey, here comes a pack rat. Now I could use another item for sure. Come on pack rat, do your thing. Okay. Alright, now we 
that to contend with this wolf though. That is not a good situation. Um, trying to think of how to do this. I'm gonna have to get something strong like the coyote to take it out, I think. Because of the stinky, that's gonna remain a problem. Can't sacrifice anything either, so I'm gonna pull a tooth just to give us a little bit on the balance. All right, hopefully we can take out the dog. Hmm. Well, we could pull the dog over to our side, or we could play Warren, take two damage there, but um, almost get the wolf out of the way. And build out to getting pack rat, which will give us another item. Um, or we could play the ringworm. Maybe we'll just save up and see what happens. Uh, wolf cubs incoming now. I think we're going to have to drag the wolf over because it's just too much. And we got a coyote. That's exactly what we've been looking for this whole time. Um, so that's good. That'll take out the wolf. And that bloodhound is still going to be a problem. So I should be able to just play like uh, the ringworm in front of it. And that would put some damage on the board. Or uh, defense on the board, I should say. Okay. Alright. Now if I put the um, squirrel down, I should be able to get blocking the coyote against the bloodhound and bloodhound will die. Oh, he doesn't have the card dog sigil. I thought it would have went after it. I think it goes after cards place. So that's what I was remembering wrong. Oh, that may have messed me up. Alright, we're going to draw a squirrel and I think we're going to have to use the yoink because if we don't we're going to get some bad damage here soon. Um, Pronghorn can do multi-attack though. If I could just get one more turn, we'll get four here, five, and I think it were even, so maybe this will work actually. Okay. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get it with having um, our pronghorn that can take two hits from the dog. Or we could just put a pack rat down in front of it too. Get a hit in on the wolf. And go from there. Okay. We could use a frozen possum. Ah, we got the lovely cuckoo. Um I think we're going to have to use possum because that damage is a lot. What can we do though? Hmm. That adder's going to take out my coyote too. I think I'm going to have to pull the wolf over. It's unfortunate. It's a bit of a waste. Oh, I forgot the adder. Couldn't attack the coyote anyways. I should have been thinking about that. I don't know why, but I guess I just let it play its mind games on me. <laughs> okay, not bad. I'm only down one item as well, so it's not bad at all. Hmm, I'm tempted to get another child 13 so we can combine their powers, but 
I'm afraid it's just going to boost it by one. Maybe we'll get this guy as a wild card because it's so rare that I can play four blood, but maybe he'll come in clutch in the last minute or something. All right. Let's uh, try the cave around one more time. Surely we'll get lucky this time. All right, four blood. Six health. Two can. Surely we can get two can. If it still doesn't give it to me, I'm going to be amazed. All right, we got it. I was going to be a little bit angry. All right. An elk fawn that lays eggs and produces bones. That's funny. Um, magpie it gets stronger. That's enticing. And it's a guard dog. Or a guardian, I should say. And a guardian mantis. It's unkillable. And it's only one blood. That's kind of tempting. I think I'll do it. Those attributes may be better on another card too, so it's not a bad idea to have. Um, bones, a squirrel, or a tooth pull. Should have looked at my cards. Um, I'm gonna go with bones. All right. What do we have here? A rattler that's gonna take out the stump in one turn and a bullfrog so maybe I can just block the bullfrog right off the bat close down that lane okay try to get somebody to take out the um, rattler as well might be it actually I think it might be in my best um, interest to put down the frozen possum in front of um, the rattler it's in the last two turns okay all right uh, let's see all right two-blooded wolf so we could get that by getting rid of the cuckoo and that should give us enough to play our uh, Cody now. And we could put right here. Okay. And let's start building up. I'm tempted to put the Yue Yuli down just for the heck of it. It'd be kind of funny. We'll uh, take out the Rattler in the Gek lane. I don't think I've ever played it before, funny enough. Okay. We will sacrifice the squirrel to buy some time. And the pack rat. Wow, man, that is a buff card right there that turned things around all on its own. Alright, Rat King generates bones. It's not a bad idea. Um, how many bone cards do we have now? We have Alpha, Cody. Oh, look, we had something else. Probably thinking about when I had two Cody, so. Hmm. Maybe, I feel like it might be a little bit late to try to build up ants, amphibians, I just don't know. Adder can be kind of troll though, so maybe we'll try it out. Um, so we could do a sigil swap. Maybe putting the mantises powers on something like um, a pack rat would be unstoppable. 
or child 13 since it comes back. I think I'll do that. That would be amazing. It's on a ton of power, but attacking in three directions is kind of awesome. Oh, it looks like it's not going to give me the chance. Well, that's frustrating. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't have expected that, but, uh, kind of, it's a hard pill to swallow. Maybe putting the adder's death kiss on somebody else would be a good idea. I could even go on somebody kind of weak. Thinking the stoat may be a good idea, or child 13, so that they can defend, or it can defend itself against even stronger things. Um, we'll do child 13. Why not? That's annoying that the mantis didn't make it in there. I wonder if it's just by luck of the draw or what. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Alright. Rattler and a beehive. And it's spiky. That's not good. Okay. Try to leave the beehive alone. Tempted just to wait a turn and attack the, um, Rattler in the next hand. Okay. We're not going to have enough room to do that. Now are we? Well, we can generate the Warren and then put the Pack Rat against the Rattler, perhaps. Hmm. There we go. And now we can get our peck rat out. Okay. And after the adders get down, we can um, let them do their thing. Um, do you have a problem? There's too much damage on the board already. So need to do something here. I guess getting the coyote out would tip the scales. It's gonna die though. Okay. Oh, nope, I forgot about the stinky, so it worked out. And we got a bee out of the hand too. Okay. Alright. Patrolling with the Yue Yuli again. Here we go. What? What was that? Oh, I didn't know that the quills combined with adders led to an instant death. I never put two and two together, but I've seen it happen before. Oh man. Well, that's tough. Hopefully I can get relit when I go to the boss fight. It's kind of an extra life. Um, man, I did not put that one together. I'm going to have to uh, really pay attention to that next time. Alright, I guess a bird it is. Another magpie. Who am I going to get joined here? Cuckoos, pack rats, or a wolf. Tempted to say, let's do cuckoos. Well, let's do wolf. I'm a really strong wolf. 
or price of one would be nice. Having four health really gives it some fighting power, I think. Okay. Mantis, it's going to attack two ways and has a tail and a bee. And they have tails, tails, tails. Get a warrant down and a uh, bullfrog in front of the bee. There we go. Oh, the mantis is going to take out the bullfrog. That wasn't ideal. Okay. Hey, we got our own mantis to use now. Excellent. Um, we could just put it in front of their mantis. Um, it's going to put those cards forward, forward, unfortunately. So it's going to go after them, I think. Hmm. To see how it looks. We are we are ahead of them on the balance anyway, so maybe we actually just won. Yep. It's looking like I need to uh, exchange my teeth for some pelts, and this is just in time. I don't think I'm gonna have too many more chances. Eleven. Looks like that's it. Hopefully we get to see uh, the pelt lady. All right, birds could become stinky. Um, how many birds do we have now? We have one, two, three. Hmm. Submerges itself during its opponent's turn while submerged, posing creatures attack its owner directly. That just doesn't seem very useful. I mean, I guess if you had a strong or low defense creature, it might be nice. I'm just gonna get the bird head just in case um, it ends up making sense later. I wish we could change the head out. Can we? Let's see. Maybe not. Alright, who are we going to try boosting? Plus two health. That would make the stoat nice and viable. Maybe we'll do it with the uh, stoat. Since it seems to be the only thing it doesn't have something really added to it. One of the only things, I guess. Alright. We're happy with four. Thanks, pals. We appreciate your concerns. <laughs> Alright. Bait buckets to start with. Not messing around. We get rid of that raven. So we're gonna use Cuckoo to block it off of that. Egg survived the fall, how curious. <laughs> um That's strange. And not good. Huh. That's not good. It's really gonna bite me. Um, maybe I will use this to get more in down. And magpie does attacks. So I don't want to hit the bait buckets. We'll just um, have to roll with this, I think. Okay, we'll let it take the cuckoo, and we will get 
I think one of these cards. And it's a wolf. Good, something it can take on the Great White. Unfortunately, it has four hit points, so. Hmm. Tempted to play the Magpie so I can search, but I'm not sure if it's going to help. That Stinky is really bad, too. Those ravens are going to eat me alive if I'm not careful. Um, I think I want to ring the bell. I don't see much else I can do. Alright, I'm having the cuckoo. It's kind of acceptable. What can I do? Darn great white's going to come out and get me too. The well the wolf has six attacks. So I can take out the raven file if I can get it on the board. So let's do that. And it's stinky too, so maybe this will work. Oh, I could use the fan and that'll take us to the next phase. I think I'm kind of desperate, so let's do it. Sweet. He's going to take up his cards and pull. Oh yeah, pull out a bait bucket. I forgot about that. Alright. Feels like a big risk, but I want to do this. Ah, oh, wolf pelt. Hmm. I guess trading that for for a great white attack might be an acceptable move. We're just gonna have to roll with it. Alright, not looking too good. Um can't get the magpie on the board. And we could if we sacrifice the wolf, but that seems like a terrible idea. There we go. I noticed the scales are even still, so we had a shot, but I'm just I'm definitely just getting nervous with how it's going. I use up my items and uh, it's getting nasty. Oh yeah, well, if we could sacrifice this Ouroboros or let it die, that would be ideal. And strange larva evolving over time would be pretty sweet too. I'm going to go with Ouroboros. Let's see, is this boss battle? Yep. Alright. Well, not going to be able to evolve Ouroboros much, are we? So we could try for Sigil or we could try for the Pellet Dealer and I think that's what I want to do. Alright, Rabbit Pelt. We could get a cat. Um, get another Alpha. Black Goat. I think we'll do that for Blood for the Yure Yuli. And Wolf Pelt. So this is an interesting, unkillable Cthulhu monster here. I wish I could read what the bell ringer is. Ant Queen and creates an ant. We've got a cat that has a bee. Hmm. And a moose buck. Maybe it would be good to have some more power on the board. But an adder that gets stronger too. Hmm. I think I'll do adder. It's a little bit basic, but I think it makes sense. I don't know what the geck is good for. Um, I'm going to look this up actually because I've played a lot of rounds without it. And hold on one moment while I look it up. Geck inscription. Well, it does cost zero blood. Hmm. Let's 
Well, maybe it is a good card then. Um, Malcolm for just two blood has three and three, but let's get a Gex since it costs nothing. Might be a meme. We'll see. All right. I'm going to pour myself a fresh glass of water before we start our uh, boss battle here and have to take on the moon and everything. So fingers crossed. Um, don't have many autumns, but hopefully pack rats will come in and play and help us out. God, what is this sigil? I see stinky, but it looks like it has something else on it too. It's not letting me check it out. Weird. Um, either way, we could get stowed on the board, or we could sacrifice and get the um, magpie, but I think I'll save the black goat for later. Um, Let's put the smoke down and we'll get the stoat played so that we can get something started on that mole man. Alright, prospector's coming out. Okay. Mantises are gonna be a problem pretty quickly. Um we only have bone on them, so that's not good. Okay, so we've got to get rid of that mantis god, and what else can we do? I mean, we could sacrifice so we can get a magpie. I think that I want to need to do that. It's so early and kind of a waste, but. I don't know anything else I can do. Getting the coyote might be a good turn. Okay. And we will put the coyote down to, uh, well, I guess. Too bad I can't sacrifice the magpie. Because that mantis god is still going to be there, fortunately. Alright. This one coming in, though, won't be able to take it out. Okay. There we go. Ah, oh, no. No. That's not what I wanted. I think that's the end of it, too. I think that did me. Um, I've only got like one chance and it's to draw a uh, bone card. <laughs> okay, well, I think even with like all my items that it's not gonna... Maybe if I had more items that would have turned out, but that was just a really, really bad luck. I think I probably had a misplay too, so, you know, it is in part my fault, but look at that, jeez, just a wave of mantis attacks. <laughs> ah, well, I got done in just under an hour today, so we'll just, uh, roll the credits here in a moment after we see our stats. Ah, wait, what a rough one, but still a good run. I made it to the boss again and I think I have renewed interest in continuing to play. Gotta beat it at least a second time, right? Thanks for watching. It's been Rink. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Rink, and I'll replay on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.